Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to Books with My Quiet Friends. My name's Sydney and today I'm here to film my May wrap up. So May was a very busy month for me. I adopted a puppy and I went to a conference for work which was about four days long. So I didn't get as much reading done as I had hoped, but I did manage to read seven books, I do believe. So without further ado, here's what I'm currently reading. Please excuse any sounds of snoring that you can hear in the background. That would be my puppy on her bed. I am currently physically reading Scythe by Neil Schusterman. I am 220 pages into this one. I'm really enjoying it so far. It just kind of has been put on the shelf since I've been so busy these past weeks. So. Hopefully I get through this soon. And on audiobook, I'm listening to Son of Neptune by Rick Riordan. Also, I apologize for this setup because it's kind of a whole, I moved my room around to fit a puppy in it. And uh, I don't really know how to film now. So this is going to be some guessing for all of us. The first book I picked up this month was Legend by Marie Lu. I gave this book three out of five stars. Overall, I enjoyed it. I thought it was interesting. I liked the dystopian world of it, and I also enjoyed the switching perspectives of characters. That being said, I found that there was an insta-love in this book that I just could not get along with, and the romance just wasn't for me. I do plan on continuing this series at some point. I'm not sure if that will be physical copies or on audio yet. The second book I read this month was A Man Called Ove, Uve. I'm not sure, but by Frederick Backman, and this was my book club's book pick for the month. I really enjoyed this book. I think if you are someone who can deal with an old man who has a lot of heart, something that will make you laugh, make you cry, make you think about the world around you, this is a good pick for you. It's hard to get into at first just due to the character's unlikable qualities, but the more you read, the more you get to understand this man and his life and why he is the way he is. Um, overall, I plan on reading more works by the author. There's another one called My Grandma Sends Her Regards and Apologies, and I think it will be just as funny, if not more so. And heart-wrenching. Don't forget heart-wrenching. There was a lot of tears that happened throughout this book. The next book I listened to on audiobook, and that was The Lost Hero by Rick Riordan. I gave this 4 out of 5 stars. Overall, I really enjoyed this story. I love the way that Rick Riordan writes. His humor is hilarious, and I also really liked how he aged up the characters in this book. The characters are 16 in this one, which made it more relatable for me, because I'm only 7 years older instead of 10. Let's not focus on that right now. But I think the adventures in this book were so interesting, getting to see other perspectives and other gods was fantastic, and I cannot wait to continue with this series. The next book I read was my classic of the month, which was Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. Um, I'm taking a break from classics after reading this. I found that this put me in a slump for such a small book. I just wasn't interested enough to read it, and I don't think... Classics are for me right now, or maybe they are like two a year, but trying to force myself to read it just didn't make sense to me. I gave it two out of five stars. I think the concept was interesting, but that's about it. <laughs> After that, I picked up the very much hyped Restore Me by Tahira Mafi. This is the fourth book in the Shatter Me series. I loved re-entering the world, even though I had just finished the third book last December, I think. Um, I really loved the Shatter Me series. And I was nervous going into this, and I'm still a little nervous knowing that there's a few, few, one, more books to come. But I think that the switching perspectives in this book really did this book justice, and I also loved the emotion and the feelings that were portrayed in this book. It was so interesting to read and hear from. I cannot wait to continue the series. I gave this book a 5 out of 5 stars. I loved it. After that, I listened to The Daughter of the Pirate King, and I don't have a physical copy of this yet, but I gave it 4.75 out of 5 stars. I really loved it, and for a young adult book, I found that it was very, um, it was full of sexual tension. Can I say that? I don't know if that's appropriate, but there was a lot of tension between our characters, and I loved that it wasn't an insta-love story. I also enjoyed the kick-ass main character and the narrator of the audiobook. I think that she really portrayed our characters so well and I 
cannot wait to read the second book in the series, which is Daughter of the Siren Queen. The final book I read this month was The Walled City by Ryan Graden. I listened to this on audiobook and read some of the physical text. Um, I give this 3.75 out of 5 stars. I enjoyed it overall. I liked the characters, but I wasn't a huge fan of the romance. Yet again, it just seemed to kind of happen, and it wasn't for me, but that's okay. It's not to say that other people didn't enjoy the romance. It just wasn't for me. Um, I really enjoyed the description and the dark path that this book took, and I also enjoyed the author's note where we find that the author has done research on the original Walled City and tried to base this book on this, but noted that it was historical fiction, and that she took creative license with her characters and with the world she sort of created. Does that make sense? Those are all the books I read in May. I hope you guys had a great reading month, and we will see you next week. Bye!